What's up guys and welcome back to our full and crew mode episode number 15. Now in our first game today, obviously as you see on the screen we're against Watford away in the actual replay of the FA Cup. I know again we've got another replay, we drew the first round at home 0-0 uh, nil -nil. and also so today we've got the uh, replay and uh, first up they actually had the first chance you know they intercepted Obita here ran down the wing. At first I thought it was a Barbo, but it was actually Igalo. Uh He plays the ball back to Igalo. Igalo plays it in to Dini, and uh, from there, Dini's not going to miss, and that's 1-0. I mean, I shouldn't have really got... Uh, I shouldn't really give the ball away, to be fair. I mean, there weren't many players back, and as you see, the counter-attacked, and as you see, Dini gets his first goal in the FA Cup, and now 1-0 to Watford. But anyway, straight after kickoff, really, we came back with the attack, down the left, we actually switch it with Obita, the guy who give away the bloody goal. Uh, we play it into Williams, and I mean, come on, he just put the ball out of the air like it was nothing. It was actually a good shot, and I mean, he just easily just dived in the air and just grabbed the ball. But anyway, later on, Lonergan had to pull off a good save, and uh, as well after that, even we didn't really clear our lines, and they came again. And um, I, they should have, I thought, really should have scored here as well. They hit the bloody crossbar. Now, I was thinking, how are they not 3 4 0 up? It was mad. Some of the chances they had, like this one here as well. Dini puts it over the bar. Really, if they took all the chances, guys, it should have been about 4 5 0 to Watford. No joke. We had that good chance of Williams, but to be fair, compared to their chances, it was zilch. But anyway, we actually. Uh, Quite early on in the second half, came forward. Uh, McCormack tried to make something happen. He should have scored there, but Gomez pulls off another good save. But anyway, straight from uh, the corner didn't res really result to anything. So straight from the kickoff from Jorilio Gomez, McCormack again picks up the ball, plays it to Vadillo, and from there there's going to be only one winner, and that is Vadillo. He makes it 1 0, puts it over the top of uh, Gomez. It took a slight deflection, as you'll see here. But anyway, we'll still take it. We're back in the cup tie. Hopefully keeping the cup tie alive. Second goal in the FA Cup for that young man. And uh, again, you know, it was a good goal really. But anyway, here I thought, bloody hell, have they not scored here? Lonergan pulls off a quick save. Good reflexes by him. And uh, as you see, the last chance of the game... He should have put that to bed, but luckily, they went all out of attack. They put the centre-back up, and that was him missing. Now, extra time. There were only really two chances in extra time. The one with Watford, and the one here, where I give away the ball to him. What was I doing? I mean, I thought, right, Byron, you come out here to the right a bit, and I'll play you through a bit. Now, I didn't really think... Lonergan will have the best passing. I didn't really think that way. I thought, yeah, he'll be able to knock long balls like Pelo. But he didn't, and we lost the game. So we are out of the FA Cup. But we are out of the league for winning it. Now, this is our first league game of the episode against Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest has basically took five plays this season, and none of them were playing. So, yeah, it just shows you... Are they buying backup plays? I don't know. But anyway, it was us that had, would have the first chance in the game. McCormack fires in a shot. Good save by the goalkeeper. And uh, they get away to safety, to be fair. Again, we came with uh, Marshall this time. We had to play, you know, because of the Chef Wednesday game and the Watford game, our players was out of fitness. So we had to play a weaker side. And you could kind of tell, really, because... It won the kind of attacking, flowing football that we normally play. And as you see, we did have a few chances, but we didn't really take them. And again, I tried to score here, but again, goalkeeper saves it. We get a corner, you know, after that chance, and we hit the crossbar with it. So unlucky. But this is actually uh, not even Forrest's first chance of the game. And um, yeah, Bert cuts back, plays it to uh, centre mid, and as you see... Yeah, we sh I thought we should have really won this game uh, compared to that. But anyway, Pringle, lovely ball through. Gray, he's actually scored, guys. He's actually scored. Now, I'm glad it went on his left because he wouldn't have scored if it was. 
but he has scored. Great play by him to Pringle. Yeah, I had to bring Pringle on. I think he's made about three appearances. But anyway, well done to Gray. Uh, he actually only gets his third goal of the season. Now, that's so surprising, to be fair, because he's played so many games. He's just... He just doesn't seem to make that impact, guys. He seems to be so good at dribbling, but he just can't finish his dinner. But anyway, we came close here. I thought we should have really scored there. And again, uh, last chance of the game. We come through. He plays a nice ball to McCormack. McCormack should have really scored there on the half volley. But uh, as you see, guys, we win the game 1-0. Another three points for us. And after the game, we did training. And Williams and Rodak goes up. Williams is now 69 rated. And Rodak is now 65. So it's really good on the growth, guys. We've got so many good young players. Um, just growing them and getting them to get the more and reach their potential is the key thing because they are going to be the future of Fulham. But anyway, last game of the episode against uh, another team we should be realistically winning against Preston away. We won them, I think, 4-1 at home maybe uh, earlier in the season. It was like one of our first games. So, yeah, we should be really winning again. But anyway, guys, the car mat gets put through. One on one with Kirkland, and he slots it into the bottom left corner. Great ball to him, and you know, McCormack's it, he's not going to, I don't think, miss there, even though he missed that frigging chance against Nottingham Forest later on. But anyway, great ball to him through the uh, defenders, and he finishes right. It was quite similar to uh, the grey goal, to be fair, except it wasn't really on the half volley, and the ball was obviously on the floor. But anyway, late on in, later on in the half, they came, and I thought they should have really. Uh, done some of that chance but luckily they didn't and that was it again not a lot happening in the first half it seems like i don't i, get, I don't get it guys it doesn't nothing seems to go on in the first half if uh, it does it's normally us that score but anyway i you'll probably see there weren't a lot of chances in this game they had one here it was probably the best one best two really here they were so easy for lonigan to save and that was it for the game. Hardly no chances in this game at all. The, it is hard playing against a five at the back. But uh, what can you do? We still get the three points. We still get the win. And now we're closing our QPR. And also, as you see, a few more growth for uh, a few of the young players were uh, training. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, sorry about the footage. Obviously, there weren't a lot of chances in the, in the, all of the games, on in the Watford game. So, I could only really show you what I thought was uh, good f quality for the video. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you are new. And guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace!